Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about a number of selection methods that I use on my pipeline, right? And it kind of depends on which one you use, depending on whether you want to select a large area, a small area, whether you have uh, back faces and that kind of stuff, right? So let's just go through them. Now I'm going to start with the most obvious and easy one, right? Let's say you simply want to have some faces selected, right? You're going to right click, go to face and select one of these. And let's say you want to have this horizontal row, right? What you're going to do is go to the adjoining face, either to the left or the right. You're going to hold down shift and you're going to double click, which will give you that entire horizontal row. And you probably know this one. Yeah. Okay. Let's say you want to do the same, but in a vertical way, click that one, shift, double click. And there you go. Pretty easy. Okay. All right, but what if you want to increase your selection? So you want to have this one as well and that one as well, but you want to grow that in a controlled manner, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on shift and point or shift period. Yeah, hold on shift. And as I hit that, it grows, as you can see. Now, keep in mind that the selection growth is based on your original selection. So if I were to take, uh, let's say, a polygon cube, and let's give that some subdivision, all right? Let's go in here and let's do, uh, I don't know, uh, 10, 10, 10. That's fine, yeah? All right, so if we got this guy, hit F to frame that. If I go in here and I take these four, like so, and I grow that selection by hitting Shift period, it will grow in this way, yeah? However, if I have a selection looking like this and I hit shift period, it will grow in a different way. Okay, keep that in mind. Okay, so we have the regular, if you will, um, face selection, horizontal, vertical. I showed you how to expand that selection. Next one up is, let's say you want to have a large range of faces selected. What you could do is a marquee select, right? So you just basically left click on your mouse and then you drag on top of this guy. Make sure it's selected first, face mode. So you left click and drag and boom, there you go. Now that's great if you're working on, let's say a plane or something like that. But in this case, if I hit four for wireframe mode, you'll see that I not only selected the faces in the front, but also in the back. Now, if that's what you want, that's fine. But most likely that's not what you want. So instead of doing a marquee select, what you can do is hold down the tab key and you can paint select. So hold down the tab key and wherever I move my mouse, it will select that, right? Hold down your left mouse button. I mean, if I release that, you'll see it won't select, yeah? And I can just basically paint the selection that I want, which is neat. Let's say I want to deselect a few of those. Just keep on holding down the tab key and just paint over them. And as you do that, they will deselect. Pretty neat, right? Okay, so let's see what else we got. So we got the selection growth. We got, uh, okay, so uh, the conversion of the selection. I got faces selected and let's say I don't want that. I want to have edges or let's say vertices instead, right? With this selection going on, what I would do is I would control right click I would go to, let's say, vertices, go to vertices, go to vertices. Boom. There you go. Hitting four on the keyboard. You can see exactly what's going on, right? So these are the selection methods that I use uh, most often. So it's a simple face select. It is a horizontal or vertical row. It is the selection expansion or, you know, reduction. It is marquee select and it is uh, paint select. These are the ones that I use, right? Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions. If you've got any other tools you want me to explain, please let me know. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.